and hello everybody so welcome back to open form well this uh, video is going to teach us how to make meshes out of 3d models that's right make meshes out of 3d models so by now you should know what uh, some of the basic functionalities of open form so if we like say go to cavity the cavity tutorial form Yep, you'll see all these things. We should already be very familiar with this. You should know what block mesh is. So if I run block mesh, what it does is that, yep, what it does is that it creates a mesh uh, using eight vertices. So just to recap, let's go to the system file and we look at the block mesh .dict. Block mesh dig, you see that these vertices are going to make the block. So, to put it visually, one, okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, never mind. Let me use a paintbrush. Okay, one point here, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. So, and there's a very specific way we are supposed to number these vertices in order for block mesh to work. Well, you can see, even to define a simple cube or cuboid, that is already going to be very, very tough. Right? So, how are we going to do more complex shapes like say a race car or a motorcycle or let's say even a simple sphere or something like that are we going to then define every single vertex using a um, using all these coordinates and then you have to go and type XYZ here XYZ here XYZ here all these coordinates oh, good news is that open form has a utility uh, that helps us uh, import these uh, 3D models and um, change them into a mesh. So I have uh, this uh, utility is called Snappy Hex Mesh. Snappy Hex Mesh. Now we go to the uh, Open Form User Guide. You see some. You see guides like this. Okay, I think the more important one is this one. No, wrong. Snappy X mesh. Oh, yes. Yeah, this is the correct one. Yeah, snappy hex mesh. You look for this mesh generation with the snappy hex mesh utility. So, what does snappy hex, hex mesh do? It takes a 3D file, for example, this uh, car you see over here. This is the standard. A snappy hex mesh uh, utility. Uh, they use a STL file you commonly use in 3D printing. So what they do is they take a block, for example, you see this 2D rectangle here, and using the uh, STL file, which is the 3D model of whatever you want to uh, shape, uh, take the shape of, it's going to cut out the cut out the shape as follows. Now, so let's do that on paint, right? So let's say you have a box, and let's say you have a weird, weird shape like this, okay? You have a weird, weird shape like this. So what Snappy Hex Mesh is going to do to create a mesh out of this, it is going to put this uh, weird, weird shape into a box. Okay, so this box should already be properly meshed. For example, like this. Okay, so I'm going to draw a very crude mesh over here. And two, three, four. Okay, let me. Yeah, anyway, I fast forward it. So it's going to try and take this shape and it's going to put it here. Of course, uh, uh, 
yeah I want to select uh, free form okay that is we're gonna put it here okay so the idea is that you have a rough bean shape in here now so that's the first step the second step snappy hex mesh is going to do is is going to try and identify let's say the squares that are inside completely inside this uh, this uh, shape that you have so snappy hex mesh is going to say oh this square is inside this square is more or less inside this square is inside this square is inside and for for squares that are half inside and half outside like say this one all right what snappy hex mesh tends to do is divide it into smaller squares so the mesh there is going to be pretty much refined then it says it's going to say oh this one's inside all right so it's going to keep repeating the process several times okay so it's going to let's say refine that mesh and say oh this guy is inside so this is what it's going to do for a lot of the uh, boxes that are not quite in the shape itself so for example another example is let's say this region here so you have here you have a box that is kind of inside and then half of it is like outside so snapping x mesh is going to take the box it's, it's going to take the box it's going to cut it up and then say yes this this uh, lower quadrant here is going to be inside so what this is what it's doing in the uh, in this uh, explanation here so it's going to you need to take a prop uh, background mesh so called to carve it out of so you have a very crude form a, a crude background mesh so like I said just now you have this uh, properly meshed box then then uh, snappy hex mesh is going to see okay this one's going to be a little bit halfway in halfway out so you're going to divide the squares into finer uh, finer uh, what do you call that finer regions you're going to refine the mesh near the edges okay so it's going to do that again and again until the whole uh, the whole thing is more or less settled um, of course there's a limit to how much you can do this if not you'll be dividing a lot of times so there is a setting for us to limit how much uh, refinement it goes for and once it's done you can either select whether you want the inside or outside of the shape so let's do this I'll use this color here so let's say you want the shape to be like this and you want a mesh that is going to go across the shape right so you want a mesh like that so what do you do you give snappy hex mesh okay I want this to be the inside I, I just want uh, this part of the uh, mesh so I want the inside the one that looks like a bean so you have to give a coordinate within the bean and then snappy hex mesh will give you something like this bean shape if let's say you select a point outside then you'll get the negative so you will have something like a box and then with a hollow center that looks like the bin so this this blue shaded area here that is going to be your mesh and then you'll have one hollow hollow center that's going to well there's no mesh there okay so the fluid is going to if you were using open foam you'll probably use a fluid to will flow around this uh, body like so so the blue part is the mesh the center part here is going to be like just nothing okay so that's how snappy hex mesh kind of works so that's the basic concept and of course the uh, snappy hex mesh is going to refine the edges until you have a smooth surface because over here if we use the process we talked about just now which is called a castellated meshing uh, that is going to just leave you with a very blocky looking uh, diagram which is not what we want so to do that they will they will snap 
or they will make the cells all follow the surface and then of course uh, that that will yield the shape that we want and now and this uh, this is the 4.46 which is called snapping to the surfaces that will give us a smooth shape and of course we know that at the surfaces the you need a higher mesh resolution just like in the boundary layers we need high mesh resolution near the let's say uh, the edge of the boundary layer so, so usually near all these edges here 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 usually we'll need a very high resolution so um, what they do is they try, try and have a mesh refinement over here so you add some mesh layers and that will make the simulation overall more accurate so that is what uh, snappy hex mesh does so it, it makes a um, mesh out of a 3d 3d uh, kind of a uh, shape so that we don't have to you know keep uh, making making the the mesh block by block and then you're gonna have a big headache so in the next few videos we want to discuss how this is actually done so this video yep you just um, go briefly through the concepts and um, yeah you may want to visit some other videos by this guy called foam dude he's a very good uh, uh, he teaches uh, open foam this snappy hex mesh stuff pretty well I'm just uh, doing my own version and I've learned a fair bit from him as well uh, but of course I'll go way 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 slower so that it's a lot easier to uh, absorb and catch up because uh, open foam can be a bit hard to learn so thank you for watching this video with me uh, in this introduction to snappy hex mesh and what's going on um, in the next video we'll continue looking at some other features of snappy hex mesh and how we can make our own case all right so see you next time bye bye